What up, tag team? It's your boy Scooter Lou here bringing you another quick tag off of Monday Night Raw for December. It's the 5th, 5th of December. Um, Pretty standard show. Nothing to just, ah, there was some highs, there was some lows, and there was a poker tournament or high stakes poker game. And it had like three, four segments. And it spawned two fights. Three or four segments and two fights spawned from this poker invitational. But let's talk about it. Of course, you know, Bloodline has to start the show. Of course, Bloodline being the tag team champs, the Usos, Solo Sokoa, Honorary Us Sam Zang. And they cut to when they arrived to the arena, they a uh, riddle comes zooming by on his scooter, and they was like, Hey, yo, Elias comes around the corner, and I don't know what he was trying to say or what he was trying to do, but he ended up getting beat up by all of them, mainly Solo. Solo just destroyed Elias. So, of course, from that, Elias can't compete. Riddle was like, I still found me a partner. I know I'm jumping ahead because if you didn't know, it was supposed to be the Usos versus Riddle and Elias for the undisputed tag team championships of the Galaxy <coughs> universe. Um, but Riddle was like, oh, I found me a tag team partner, Kevin Owens. Him and KO valiantly tried, but ultimately they lose. Um, they tried to jump on Riddle. KO chased the Usos and Zayn away with a chair. Uh, Solo was still lurking, and Solo beat the shit out of Riddle. I mean, he even brought in his uncle's old finisher, the Samoan Spike, and everything. Rest in peace, Umanga. But they, he beat they, he beat the shit out of uh, Riddle, and then you know he even put a chair around his neck and hit that corner thigh bump and everything. And so, most likely, this is writing Riddle off for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He can go spend time with the kids, you know, since according to Rollins, his kids and his wife left his bitch ass. So maybe his bitch ass might get his kids. I don't know. I'm just making shit up. Let's keep it going. Now, come Friday, Drew McIntyre is unable to compete. So it's going to be the Usos versus Sheamus and Butch for the Undisputed Tag Team Championships of the Galaxy Universe. Then, like I said, the first segment of the JBL Poker Invitational, it's the games are getting on the way. Loomis shows up, and he's like, well, of course, Loomis is like, I want to play. JBL was like, look at we ain't letting broke boys play. So from that money he won from the Miz, he pours it on the table, and they're like, yeah, come on. Go and get you some of them cards. I'm going to just tell it all because, like I said, this thing had four segments. And it, and it spawned two fights. That was the first segment. Second segment, it showed, uh, I think, Loomis winning. And they were all like, oh, he's cheating, blah, blah, blah. And then he puts his axe on the table. And they was like, all right, you know, he good. Then from there, it showed the second table where Tazawa, Dominic, and others were playing. Dominic and Tazawa gets into it. Boom. That's like, hey, we're going to fight later on tonight. Okay, then the other segment showed where Corbin cheated, which led to Corbin and the Alpha Academy going against the OC. And it was like, okay, poker. Then they showed another segment where Miz tried to get in, and they was like, Miz, you got no money. How you going to play? And then Miz was like, I got my Roley. And uh, JBL, like, well, your Roly is fake, homie. And Miz was like, oh, it's off. And I think that was the last of the segments. There was one more. Yeah. Now, that was the last of the segments. And now to jump back timelines wise, after the first uh, segment, there was a, there's going to be two women's triple threat match. It's going to be. Oscar, Bailey, Rhea in one. Uh, Bliss, Cross, and Lynch in the other. 
the two winners will face each other next week to see who's the number one contender for Bianca. You got that? So I'm not repeating it. Um, the first one, Oscar Bailey Rhea. They went out there and fought. Like they had them last little duel. Um, ultimately, Bailey wins. She catches uh Oscar with that rose plant. Blah, one, two, three. Bailey gets that dub. Rollins and Lat well, Rollins comes out because him and Lashley are having a number one contenders match next week. Rollins comes out, basically lets the Bobby coming out. Him and Bobby get into a whole scuffle. And it ultimately ends with Bobby accidentally spearing Petey Williams or Pete Williams and just plow. And then so later on, Pierce was saying, hey, you know, Bobby, we can't uh, can't keep having you in these behaviors. You know, if you keep on doing what you're doing, how you're doing it, you might have to take further actions. And Bobby was like, fuck out my face, Pierce. Yeah. Uh, from stuff, Theory had an interview, and from that interview, it led to Ali challenging him for the U.S. title. So, boom, they go had a thing. Ali, Theory, U.S. championship. It didn't feel like a title change was going to happen because why have Bobby and Rollins go up against each other for Theory to not face one of them? But course the end of the match Ziggler shows back up causes causes a DQ so Theory gets not Theory sorry Ali gets pissed and I'm sitting there like damn this Dolph Ziggler shit still happening with uh Theory but then Theory beats up both Ziggler and uh Ali so Theory on top um once again the two fights in a row OC Versus Alpha Academy and uh, Corbin, OC wins. Um, I don't know how long this JBL thing is supposed to last with Corbin because it seemed like it's not paying off the way it's supposed to. Like I think for like the first two three weeks, maybe even four, I don't think three. Corbin was winning all of a sudden stuff. So I don't know how long this partnership is supposed to last. How long Corbin's supposed to be considered the new modern day wrestling guy? But yeah. The second fight <laughs> that happened from this poker night, bars, uh, Akira Tozawa versus Dominic Mysterio. Dominic gets the W. And I want to say he won it without any interference from Judgment Day. I could be wrong, but yeah. Uh, OC, sorry, Judgment Day tries to beat up Tazawa. Street Profits come out for the save. So I guess we'll see where that goes. Um, I think was there anything else of importance? No, main event time Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, the second triple threat match. Uh, this one wasn't a bad match. Um, it, it, it wasn't as exciting. As the first one, but it wasn't bad. Oh yeah, Bianca had a segment. I forgot what she said. Champ stuff. Um, but yeah, as Becky was going for the W, EO and Dakota comes out, runs interference, which leaves Bliss to go out there hit Twisted Bliss on Cross. Bliss gets the W. Bailey versus Cross next week. Bailey versus Cross. Bailey versus Alexa next week for number one contendership. Seth Rollins versus Bobby for number one contendership. Uh, what else they announce for next week? I think those two matches so far. I feel like there was something else, but those two matches so far uh, or announced for next week. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at now. Um, that was wrong, you know. I mean, wasn't nothing that was like ah. It was a show. You got a chance to see your favorite superstars, men and women. So what more could you ask for? Um, I'm Scootaloo.
Thank y'all for tuning in. Shout out to Jaeger, Drugs, Dizzle. Like we always do. Got to warm it up and got to deliver it to y'all. So the good people out there in tag, do it with me now. Got to tag the fucking out. You do a little swirl action. Bow. <laughs>